Hey guys and girls, welcome to your seventh example video. Uh, this one's going to be a little longer. This one is about like uh, some loop action, some, uh, some more switch and if statements and a little more of that randomness and it's just a little bigger program. We're going to make a game. We're going to make a simple game about a person pulling a rope and every time you pull a rope you do it by a random increment. You can pull it hard or you can pull it lightly. And if you pull it hard, it's one to six. That adds to the distance. If you pull it lightly, it's one to three. So that's where the random comes in. And the loop comes in that we don't have to restart the program all the time. Every cycle you add to the distance variable. And eventually you'll either go over 10, which will be our winning number. You have to reach exactly 10. If you go above that, you lose. If you go uh, below that, you lose and every every cycle the rope will be pulled back by the loop as well so let's just get started right away we need C time we don't need IO minip this time uh, also remember don't include a lot of unnecessary libraries that you don't need we don't need string I've been doing it the, the recent these uh, other ones but I'm sorry about that but uh, from now on I won't so this is what you need. I can zoom it in. Actually, you know what? Maybe if you guys are watching this in a lower quality, it's hard to see. So I can keep it zoomed in. Uh, easier to read. Um, so let's just start. Let's initiate, if you remember, our, our random number generation. Then we need a few variables. We need the distance that we currently are at. We need the, the choice. Uh, sorry, we need the choice that you're going to make, either light pull or heavy pull. And we're going to use a new variable today called boolean and uh, playing, which is good to have if you're having loops and to get out of loops. Every if statement within this part here it is actually a boolean value. It's either a 1 or a 0, either false or true, true or false. And we can call this we can say true. True is usually one, false is zero. So all if statements, while loops, everything that's going on in here is always converting in the end to a boolean. If we say if a equals b is, is equivalent to b, this is gonna either be a one or a two, right? Or a one or a zero, right? Either if it is equal to it, it'll be a one. If it's not, it'll be a zero. So it's true and false. Boolean is only for true and false. You can do zero and one and everything above uh, one will be true as well. Um, I'm pretty sure. Or you can try it out. I, I don't really exactly remember. But anywho, we have that there. So we'll keep that as true so we can see that. There we go. And then we'll just start by telling the user the rules, I think. So the rules are important. So here comes in a little bit more of the output manipulation stuff. So what's going to happen? Uh, user no, 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 no. Bro pulls on rope while uh, rope is being pulled back. Uh, choose between light pull and hard pull. One or two. Okay. And we'll just say one, two. It will increment one to three or 2 which will be 1 to 6 and that's kind of condensed rule thingy here and we'll just do a slash new line right in there so we'll use that manipulation thing it will it will remember that we'll see that okay as long as you have the backslash it will recognize it and it will make sure that uh, that happens and I like to do end line at the ends here so you know that you did an end line so it doesn't get mixed up so we have the rules written now we're at the most important part of the game, the while loop. And it's exactly what it looks like. It's while. While something keep doing this stuff. When this is false, it will jump out. While it's, while it's true, it's going to keep going. So if you write while true in here, it will go on forever and ever and ever until you write something break in here. But I never recommend, I'll never recommend writing break within loops and stuff because if you have big loops and you have a bunch of breaks you'll never know where you broke stuff and, and, and it's not good so it's better having a boolean outside which you can control all the time knowing what's going on so playing you can write like this while playing equals true but is a more easy way to do it while playing and it will always be checking playing 
it will be saying while playing. This is like writing while playing is, is true. This is exactly the same thing. It's just easier way to write it. So I, I'll just write it like that. Oh wait, yeah, you know, I'll write it like that to be extra clear. Uh, anyway, in here, we need to then make sure that playing actually becomes false at some point. Okay, and this is our basic rule. This is our basic rule for the game. So if our distance is greater or equal to, this is another type of uh, relational operator. Okay, this is greater than or equal to 10, we lose. And then we have or. Okay, this is or and this is and. We'll just do or. I'll explain it. Distance is less or equal to minus 10, which will be when we lose. Okay, and then we'll just say playing equals false. And when this is false, the next time it goes up, a loop is just going round and round and round. Okay, down up, down, up, down. It doesn't go back up here, it just while inside here it will do it and then it will jump out when this condition is false. So when we set playing to false here, if this is the case, then this will be false and we'll jump out. We will jump out of the whole thing. So if we're more than 10, we lose. Or equal to 10, we want to jump out as well because then we win. So we can do both in one. And out here we'll write the different conditions of what happens uh, depending on the distance we have. Uh, less than or equal to minus 10 we lose. And or is just that if this, we can write actually, if you would do this it would be clearer, you know. If, if this whole thing is true or this thing is true, this happens. If we had and in here, if this is true and this is true, then this will happen. If one of these would be false, this wouldn't happen. You know what I mean? So, or just gives us uh, the thing that if, if either one of these are is true, we will jump out. And that's good to have because we want to jump out if this or this happens. And we don't need brackets like this in if statements and while loops and stuff if we just have one statement underneath. Okay, if you'd write something else here, uh, that wouldn't work. Then you need the brackets. So, it's an easier way to write. So we have that. And we want to always show the current distance. Okay. Okay, we're showing the current distance to the player all at all times. And we want to actually input, yes, the choice. Bro, please input choice, choice one or two. Okay. So this is the choice. Every loop, in the beginning of every loop, we want to see, okay, do you want to pull it hard or you want to pull it lightly? Okay, then something's going to happen here. Then it's going to show the distance and then it's going to check if it's over 10 or less than 10. Or minus 10, yeah. Um, so there we go. And here is where the we can use a switch case in here, actually. Switch would be smart. Okay, switch case. So if you remember from the last video, you can just easily just easily make a, a check for a few different values in here and you can have a default value you don't have to but I always do because it's always good to know and so let's see here so what happens we have our distance here and if we write one one was our light pull so we'll make sure okay if we want to pull it lightly we'll make distance equals to distance plus uh, plus random, okay, um, so 3 plus 1, because we want 1 to 3, 1 to 3, we don't want 0 to 2, that's why we don't just write 3, write 3 plus 1, distance, actually, you know what, this is exactly the same thing as writing this, it's a, it's a less condensed version, this is as, as well as you learn it right now, this means distance plus, distance equals 2, distance plus this. It's the same thing as writing the other thing. So it's a good way. It's the same with negative and multiplication and things. It's just a condensed version of writing that. So I'll use this. Um, and the next one was 6. 6. Okay. And default will say, okay, you didn't input 1 or 2, so what the hell are you doing? 
we'll make sure bro knows that is you do n okay okay then we'll know it's the wrong input and we're displaying there we go we're displaying the current distance so we have that easy now let me just think here we have the rules we have the choice we have this this and that we're basically done all we need to do here is we need to yeah check if we want or not and hey what we'll do with ifs if statements so if distance equals to t exactly 10 okay if it's exactly 10 and we can use the condensed versions actually then we'll be like bro you won bro Gzz. okay and if it's less if it's less than or equal to minus 10 or if it's more than 10 greater than 10 uh, you lose you went too far broski okay and you lost dead bro souls okay cool uh, we have all our different conditions so equal to 10 win less than or equal to minus 10 I lost and greater than 10 you went too far you lost okay you lost dead went too far broski okay so let's see if we get any errors I just did this quickly so no errors okay we got the instructions here all right let's see what happens we'll do a light pull that went up to two we'll do a heavy pull we're up at five we'll do another heavy pull whoa we won ho oh, hell yeah hell yeah so it works so here we what we did was we used random we used the loop our first loop in the example it goes down to here it keeps looping here 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 while this is true and then we use some if statements in the end to uh, tell you what happened so that's basically it guys I mean there isn't much to it what we wanted to add as well was that distance goes down so we can lose by minus 10 so what we can do here is that we could um, we could in the cases actually do that because if you do the wrong input if you do the wrong input it shouldn't actually go down so distance uh, the same thing remember ran uh, will just go down by just a few number just few uh, 0 to 2 0 to 0 to 2 let's do 0 to 2 uh, good like that and we're doing it in here because if you do the wrong thing I mean it shouldn't decrease it I mean just did something wrong and it should it should go up again uh, so yeah that should be it let's try that out I know this is like I mean you could probably find a better way to do this but let's see if uh, it's going down it's keeping it down see it works it works we went too far you lost it's a very bad way to do it there's better ways uh, but yeah thanks for watching guys this was a pretty long video but uh, I hope you learned something and keep working hard just keep your head up high keep reading keep checking out videos you'll learn coding in no time okay take care I'll see you next video